Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm doing something a little different today. I'm filming from my computer, so I apologize if it's uh, really echoey. Uh, it's not the best audio quality from my desktop, but uh, I'm just being a little lazy and making it from the uh, computer day so I don't have to transfer files, blah, blah, blah. And I can just put it right in the editor and upload. So uh, as you see by the title today, I'm talking about Mike Halbach again. And um, many of you know, who watched my videos, that I did 11 Signs of Lying. With, uh, I talked a lot about Mike Halbach and Ryan Hilgis. Um, I recently watched that video of Teresa um, saying all the things she loved. And um, she didn't mention her, her brother and she mentions her sisters and stuff. But uh, I just was reading through the comments and I just feel it's a bit unfair with how Mike is treated when, when we really don't know the verdict, the final say in this. Of course, they're in prison, but there's all this speculation and so much guessing. Uh, it's easy for us to just sit back and watch a documentary that I think most of us, even if we believe Brendan and Stephen are innocent, um, is one-sided. It is one side of the case. We don't hear exclusively from the other side. They're just in bits and pieces from a distance. So um, it's easy to fall in love with the, the lawyers and Stephen's family and their, their side of it. Um, and if you see the way Mike acts that I pointed out in that other video, it's hard not to think that what is he hiding? And uh, I just want to touch today that touch base today and say like you, you have to have a more open mind. I, I don't think I did have more of an open mind when I made that first video just because I was so balls deep and them being innocent, which I still think they are. Uh, but we don't know if Mike had anything to do with it. And it's not fair just to assume he did by the way he was acting in those videos. Um, I'm from Minnesota, so it's right next to Wisconsin. Uh, I live more near the city, a lot more populated, but I've been to Wisconsin plenty of times, and it's a lot of seclusion, and from the areas they are, it <laughs> you're not used to having all these cameras in your face interviewing you, and you're not used to having your sister die. I mean, these are all things that came at him. And he was the one in their family to be the spokesperson. Um, so I just think it's not fair for all the judgment he gets when you or I have never been in that situation and you have no idea how you would react. Maybe Mike is just a really, just not an emotional person. Um, he never, I never see like, lip quivering when I watch those videos or anything. It's just more of kind of a deer in the headlights type look, you know, and it would make sense if you've never experienced these things before. So um, it's important that I think everyone who's involved with watching this and commenting and making videos should have a more open mind and um, not just assume he's guilty and understand the severity of what he's going through, what their family's going through. It's it's just not fair to say he's guilty um, because the same system that we want Brendan and Stephen to be freed by because they're proven innocent, he's not guilty until proven so. So um, I don't think I'm gonna point any more fingers towards Mike in any way. Um, Ryan Hilgis, though, on the other hand, there's, I just think there's no, there's no, um, so how am I going to try to say this? There's just no real explanation for not knowing the things he didn't know when he was um, questioned in court. It's just, that is blatant to me. Way different comparing the way Ryan acts to the way Mike acts. Um, if I was to still, if I was to say all these things about Ryan and just say we should have more of an open mind about him, I don't think I can say that just because 
the way he acted in court. It was really smug, it seemed. Um, we don't know him personally. We don't know what he's always like, but there's just no way that you don't know if it's day or night. Um, that's just... I didn't see anything about him having an extremely low IQ anywhere, and um, Brendan actually did, and there was no, there was nothing, no leniency given towards Brendan. So why so much towards Ryan? Why isn't he question harder? Uh, it's just so strange, you know. So just, I mean, going forward with making these videos about making a murder, uh, I, I'm going to focus more on where the guilt really looks like where it is. And making that video, 11 Signs of Lying, um, I'd really look like a fool if uh, he really has nothing to do with it. So um, I hate going back on the things I say. Uh, I can't remember a time in my life where I've, and it's so weird because it's about a documentary that I just decided to make a video on and it's something that bothers me. Um, and ever since watching that video of Teresa, it just something just didn't feel right with me when I looked at the views on the video and it's so high and I just read some of the comments and I'm commenting back. Um, I have no intentions of deleting the video because um, I put that video up. I'm not just gonna act like I didn't make it. Um, but at the same time, the suspicion and the way he acts should not just be seen as guilt. That's the main thing I'm trying to get across here. Um, we don't know how he acts with situations like this, and you don't know how you would act in a situation like that. So um, more of an open mind going forward. Still with Ryan, though, uh, <laughs> I, I, my, my opinions of Ryan really haven't changed. So, uh, yeah, I also do want to say I appreciate all the subscribers. I actually passed... 1,000 subscribers and a lot of them do come from the making of murder videos so uh, I really am thankful for everyone if you guys want to see a certain video done or a certain topic uh, I can probably do it <laughs> but um, yeah I, I actually messaged Eric Jose on uh, Facebook and I'm working on setting up a podcast on my channel and he's one of the first people I want to get on here so um, I got to talk to him again so we can set something up and uh, I can discuss more of these things with him because he's like a black belt in making a murder and um, it, it's just someone I really like to talk to about it because there's such a fascination with this case and there's so many um, people who are drawn to it because they feel it's such an injustice that's been done and I think most of us agree they're not guilty but at the end of the day, we don't know what the real truth is. We just don't know. We do not know what happened. So um, until that's figured out, um, we can all speculate all we want and cast judgments and point things out. But um, like I said, more of an open mind, especially with the family, especially with Mike. Uh, we don't know how he reacts to things like this. So um, appreciate the comments. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notifications, and uh, I'll see you guys soon again.